Hi, welcome to Curry Studios. I'm Bishop John Colanda, and it's once more a pleasure to come before you to share with you what God has in store for you. And we trust that you will um, listen carefully today to something that's very familiar that we all are familiar with in life, and that is faith. And we're going to have at this time Natasha, uh, Minister Natasha Clark to read uh, from the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 11, 1 through 6. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. Verse 5. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. Verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Thank you so much for that. He is a rewarder for those that diligently seek him. And you um, have to have faith because God grants you that everybody, he gives them a measure of faith. Faith is important to have as human beings living in this world. Faith. Faith gets you through a lot of things because of the, uh, the, the uh, connection that you have with the faith giver. Amen? That is something that we got to have and it's good for us. Amen? As people. Um, let's just pray for a moment that God would bless us as we enter this word of faith and just talk a little bit about it. Amen? Father God, we thank you for this opportunity once more to come before you, to be before you, to share your word, to share what you are giving us in the spirit. And this is something that we realize that we must have to be able to make it through this world. A measure of faith, just that measure of faith that you blessed us with. And we, we thank you, Father, for granting it to us. And we thank you for what you're doing for those that are listening right now. They're seeking might to increase their faith in you. For you are the almighty God and you just want us to believe in you, to accept you and just go along um, with what you have and trust you for everything that you give and everything that you offer unto us. Bless, Father, I speak into the church and to your people, O oh God, today. We pray in Jesus' name. We say together, amen, amen. Faith, amen, is very key to our living, amen. It's um, a forecast for us to just to embrace, and that is faith. Something of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Faith give us the true realm of things that we don't even see with the naked eye. It's, a, it's amazing what faith can expose us to in the world that we don't even realize that we're in, the world that we're not even involved in, for it's the substance of things hoped for, but evidence of things not seen. We thank God for faith, and you need faith. Each of you out there needs faith. Faith sometimes help us to get over burdens and humps in life that we have no idea how to get around it, get over it, and get past it. But because we believe enough in the things that we don't see, and not even aware of, to the, to the degree that we believe that we might be able to do it, but because of the faith that we gather from believing it, not seeing it, that it's going to happen, that it's going to come forth, that it's going to work out. We can get past it. We can get through it. We can get over it. That is something to think about, people, because God is our source 
of faith. He is a faith giver. And understand that he's the one that gives us faith. Then we just need to just trust him for a little bit more when we don't have enough. Amen. Trust him for a little more faith. Faith will get us through it, get us past it, just by believing it, not seeing it with the uh, naked eye, but in the spirit. You see yourself overcoming it. You see yourself getting around it. You see yourself getting all, all over it, over it, over it, again and again and again, because of God. He's given it to you, and he wants you to have it because he realized that you're going to need it in this world. You know, the enemy is busy, always busy trying to distract us from uh, becoming really full-fledged, true believers, because he realized that we become a believer that he's threatened. He is threatened. He cannot defeat us because we, we will know who we have our hope in. We will know in whom we trust. When you really trust in Christ, the almighty son of God, if we really truly trust in him, we can do all things because we can do all things in him because he is our source of power and energy and strength. He is our all in all, as the songwriter says, he said, my all in all. That's who he is. And if we trust in him as we should, the enemy has no chance. The devil has no chance of defeating us. See, many times we are defeated because of the fact we don't truly know in whom we trust and whom we have faith in. The great I am. He is the great I am. And we ought to be able to put him up front each time. Let the enemy know, hey, there's no victory here for you. Why? Because the God that I serve is on my side. And to you all that, that believe that God is on your side, then you just need to put your faith in him and continue to believe in him to the fullness. Don't let the enemy keep tripping you up, knocking you back, throwing you down. Because you feel like, hey, you don't uh, have a chance to fight against him. But it's not you in the first place that's fighting against him. It is the will of God. It's the spirit of God that's working in you, that's transpiring, that's doing the fight. And I always say again and again that, you know, it's a fixed fight. When you realize that he's already won the battle, he's already claimed victory. He's already achieved the victory. We have not, no need to be worried. We, we have nothing to be worried about. We don't need to be worried when we got him on our side, the one that's already done fought the good fight. He's already done won the battle, so it's a fixed fight. And we've already won, and we won this victory through him by the faith that he has given us just to believe on him, to believe in him, for he's everything. He's everything, and he can be all that you need, all that you need anytime you need him, this Christ that we serve. He's awesome in all his ways, and we thank God for it. Amen? Thank him for the victory that he's given us time and time again. Father, we just continue to pray for those out there each and every day that you bless them, Father, to give them increase of faith and belief in you that they can and, and assure them, give them that security, O oh Lord, in knowing that they can make it in anything they set their mind to do in this world. Because you are the creator of the world. You are the creator of each of us, Father. And you impart your spirit in us by our belief and faith in you. So today we continue to just ask you by faith, Father, that you give us the faith Give us the belief, give us the assurance, assurance that we can do all things in you. And we pray for this, Father, that you do, just do that for us. 
Help our household, oh God, our families, our, our mothers and fathers, oh God, to be true mothers and fathers, oh God, for the family. And help the children, oh God, to develop, oh God, in the way that you want them to develop, to be your children, Father, to come forth, oh Lord, to be all like you want them to be, Lord, and grow up, oh God, to be respectful people in this world. Oh Lord, we need your help, Lord, in this world. We have a world, Lord God, that seems to be going crazy in every way, God. Oh Lord, but we know that if we would just choose you, choose your direction, Father, that all things can be better, that hope can become a reality in our hearts and our lives. The hope, oh God, that you give us in life, oh God, it can become a maturity in you. And Father, we thank you, oh God. And I believe every person, oh God, can get that maturity. For you have it, oh God, in you. Thank you, Lord, for all things, everything. And we pray, Father, today. As you bless, oh God, this ministry, Christ Studios, to continue to develop, share a word to someone out there, oh God, around the world that seeking to find relief. I want to tell them, oh God, by the way of you, that the relief is in Christ. I don't care what and whom they seek. They will not find the relief and the benefits of living this life out in this earth until they rest upon you, seek you, find you, because you are the answer to man's problem in every situation that man is going through. Father, we rely that you are the answer, and we seek you. We, we, we give you the praise. We lift you up. We honor you, O oh God, for you are great in all your ways, and you are just worthy, O oh God, to be praised. And we just, Lord God, want to do that in every opportunity that we get as we live this life. Help us to go through this world. Help us, oh God, to be able to be good mothers and good fathers, good parents for our families, oh God. We don't need no more people, oh God, who, uh, uh, men who are going around and becoming a father, but not really truly a father. Just bringing a child into the world is not being a true father. We pray, Father, that you continue to give them the spirit of fatherhood the spirit of leadership as the Father. We pray, Father, that you do this for this generation. We need you like never before, all over this world. Every country, Lord God, we look at and see, Lord God, is springing up on the news. We see they got turmoils and problems all over, increasingly happening all the time, 24-7. And the people, oh God, that are just suffering because of the lack of knowledge of you. We pray, Father, for leaders. We pray for teachers. We pray for your anointed ones, oh Lord, to take their rightful place in this earth, oh God. Preach your word. Preach your gospel. Share the ministry, oh God, and to those that are lost, let them know, Father, that there is an answer. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is an answer, and the answer is Jesus Christ. The world needs to wake up to that today. Need not to keep on bumming around, just messing around, bumping their heads against the walls. Oh, Lord, but need to find you, Father, and accept you and build their faith in you. Oh, Lord, we pray for that for them, Father. In this message today, we must have faith, for it's the substance of things hoped for evidence of things not seen. Just get that faith and you'll get that evidence of the thing that you don't even see with the visible eye. For God is our answer. And he's given it to us through his beloved son, Jesus Christ. And I am so happy today to realize that that answer is in Jesus and we can have that enriched every day in our lives as believers. I found that the church world just need to wake up and stop just fumbling around with this playing church and not realizing that church is Jesus Christ. Christ said, upon this rock, I'll build my church, meaning that he will build himself upon this rock, that rock of faith that Peter had, believing and knowing that he was the Christ. He is, he is building his church church upon that faith 
So he just wants each of us to gather enough faith so he can build his church upon your rock. Amen? Praise God, because we need to know what we're doing and where we're going. If you died today, where would you go? You need to know this. By faith, you would know that in Jesus Christ, because Christ came to give us life. And each of us that receive Christ, we receive life. Can somebody say amen out there? Yeah, amen. If we receive him, we receive life, for he is life. Amen. And thank God for him coming to give us life. I have accepted him. I have accepted life. So if I leave here today, go home to be with the Lord, I know that I'm going to be with the Lord. Why? Because I have given him my life and it rests in him. I ain't nothing else that I got to do, but let it just rest in him and keep it focused on him all the time. And he will continue to bring forth his blessings. He will continue to give us the grace and mercy that we need each day as we travel this road down here in this dark place. I know it looked like the sun is bright, but it really, it's a truly a dark place. When you don't have Christ in your life, you're in a dark space. You're in a dark place. Yes, you are. And you need to find Christ for he came to give us light, amen, and to give us life. We thank you, Lord God, for that, for you just coming to this place, sharing your life on the cross of Calvary. Oh, God, we thank you for going to the cross. And we praise your name for it, Lord God. And we thank you, oh God, for all that you do. And as I begin to end this particular uh, word today as giving you hope through faith, I, I want to share with you that I have um, a t-shirt for you that I want to offer to everyone out there that uh, is in support of our program. I know you get always support. If you like to have one, just click on to the bottom of the screen and uh, say, I would like to have one of those t-shirts of uh, Christ from Christ Studios as you are uh, presenting. And on the back of it, it says, for God so loved the world. The one we've been talking about for weeks and weeks, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, that he gave his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus, that whosoever believe in him should have everlasting life. This is what the shirt is letting you know that God is not forgotten you. Amen. He's loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son. That's what our Lord has done. So if you like to have one in your, 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 your home or just take it and hang it on a wall or put it in your back and wear it, whatever, we have it in uh, teal, uh, nice pretty blue and a gray as well as this red. So just click on and say, hey, I'd like to have one of those t-shirt, Bishop Calanda. Um, please uh, send me one. And uh, we uh, uh, $15, yeah, there is a cost involved in supporting the ministry. That's all it's for, to help support the ministry, $15. And um, we'll be glad to get it out to you. Be sure to include all the information you need to include as far as your name and address where you are. We'll send it to you. Send your check to uh, Christ Studios, and uh, you'll how you like, like to pay for it. Thank you so much for listening today, and may God richly bless you and your family. We love you, but God loves you best.